last class we have discussed about our energy coefficient alpha okay so we have derived that equation okay so this is our general equation for your energy coefficient alpha okay and then we have taken one example of rectangular channel okay and then we have discussed how to solve alpha for rectangular channel okay and then we have discussed about the velocity how to calculate this velocity that is your average velocity In the last class we have discussed all these things okay so now see here in this chapter we have numericals related to your how to find out alpha your energy coefficient then to find out alpha we need to find out v okay then only we can determine your energy coefficient and another one term is your momentum coefficient is your momentum coefficient beta okay so the derivation is very much similar to alpha okay for momentum coefficient for momentum coefficient beta the derivation is similar to your alpha but here we know what is momentum momentum is mass into velocity okay momentum is mass into velocity momentum is mass into velocity so again we are going to consider small elementary area we have already discussed what is small elementary area when we derive alpha energy coefficient or momentum coefficient we have to consider a small elementary area okay small elementary area now what we do we are going to find out the momentum in that particular small area okay that is mass into velocity mass into velocity so for mass we have already derived that equation when we discuss about coefficient energy coefficient we have already know the equation for mass okay this is your weight and this is your mass. mass is this so we are using the same equation for beta also okay specific weight divided by acceleration due to gravity multiplied by area that is del a as we are considering the small elementary area multiplied by the velocity v that is small v okay small v is the velocity of water or velocity of flow inside the small elementary area okay so here you can see as this is your mass okay as we are considering momentum so it's mass into this velocity okay so this is specific weight divided by acceleration due to gravity multiplied by area that is del a area of the small elementary area and then we have to multiplied by velocity okay and this v is nothing but your velocity okay so this is your mass this is your mass and this is your velocity okay uh, here we have one mistake here uh, only v square okay to so do the correction this will be your Okay. Hmm. This is your typing mistake, I think. Here, this is wrong. Okay. This is specific weight divided by acceleration due to gravity multiplied by elementary area that is del A, del area 
multiplied by velocity okay this is mass then again if you consider momentum we have to multiply the mass into velocity so there will be again one velocity okay so here it's written v square this will be only single v okay then after multiplying this two then only you can say this is v square okay so this is correct this is correct so this is you uh, strike out this equation and you write this equation specific width divided by acceleration due to gravity multiplied by small elementary area multiplied by velocity so this whole gives you mass okay. this whole gives you mass and then you again multiply it by velocity to get momentum mass into velocity okay so again this momentum what we have calculated this is only for the small elementary area okay if this is your small elementary area whatever momentum we have calculated this momentum is only for this particular area okay so for total momentum again we have to take integration or summation okay so these things very much similar to your alpha derivation okay so this is your total momentum okay now Now, as our velocity is not constant, we have to multiply it by a coefficient that is your beta. Okay. So when you use that coefficient for momentum equation, then it uh, it calls beta. Okay. When you use that coefficient for energy equation, then it is called alpha. So alpha is for energy equation and beta is for momentum equation. The purpose is same. Why we are multiplying that coefficient that purpose is same okay so then again you have calculated total momentum and then this is our corrected momentum for the whole cross section okay then we equate both the equation like what we did for alpha okay then we equate both the equation and then we uh, find out the beta value simple mathematics okay so definitely this specific weight by gravity and specific weight by gravity will be cancelled out okay so in place of discharge okay they have written area into velocity we all know discharge is equal to area into velocity so that's why beta multiplied by area into velocity in place of discharge they have written area into velocity then we have velocity here okay so this is summation del a v square okay then you find out the beta okay and in place of summation we replace the summation by integration So similarly, okay. Similarly, for example, we have taken rectangular channel because rectangular channel is very simple to understand. Okay. This is your rectangular channel. Why not is the depth? And width of the channel b is the width of the channel so here now if we consider a small elementary area here so your del a will be b into dy the width of the channel is b and for the small elementary area your depth is dy okay so we've calculated da then total area will be total area for the whole cross section for the rectangular channel is b multiplied by y naught as we have considered y naught as the total depth of flow okay now you substitute in this equation 
So 1 by area in place of area we have substitute b into y naught. Okay. Then small v by capital V whole square. Then del A again we have substitute b into dy. Okay. And definitely that integration for integration the limit from 0 to y naught. We have already discussed about this thing. Okay. How the limit changes. So it will be from 0 to y naught and we are integrated with respect to y. We are integrated. We are integrating with respect to y. Okay. So to calculate alpha and beta, we have to first calculate this average velocity that is your capital V. Okay. So whenever there is a numerical related to alpha and beta, it is asked or not, you have to first calculate your average velocity. Then only you can find out your alpha and beta. Okay. Or if it is given, then it uh, then it is okay. Okay. If it is not given, then you have to calculate alpha and beta. Okay. So what we do, we will solve some numericals related to alpha, beta, and your average velocity. Okay. So I I ask you to pen and paper. Okay. Use us. Uh, be ready with a pen and paper. We solve some numericals. Unless and until you solve you are not going to understand okay so as it is very difficult you know online process okay okay so this is the first example and we are going to solve this example, okay? Okay. Are you ready with your pen and paper? Which is the channel section is rectangular, okay? Then rectangular channel of which is B. Rectangular channel which is B. Okay. And depth Y not. Depth is Y not. And depth is Y not. Okay. After that, what is says C or if you remember the alpha equation, if you remember the alpha equation, it is integration 0 to y naught small v by capital V whole cube. V A by capital area. Okay. okay. So to find out this, what we required, we need small v, we need capital V. Okay. So for small v, we have that expression. Okay. We have that expression. It's given small v is equal to k multiplied by root over y, where k is a constant where k is a constant and y is nothing but your depth of flow okay so now we proceed to the solution okay so we have already discussed to find out alpha and beta first we have to calculate v okay so this is the equation for b okay so in place of small v we have substituted that equation in place of small v we have substituted 
this equation that is k multiplied by root over y okay so in place of root over y we have written half we have written to the power half okay it's the same thing okay you can write k into root over y or you can write k into y to the power half so dy okay 1 by y naught 0 to y naught that is the limit we have already discussed the limit will be from 0 to depth of flow so as here the depth of flow is given 0 to y naught okay y naught is the maximum depth okay so now you integrate okay so we are integrating with respect to y so k will be a constant term so it will come out okay that is why k by y naught k by y naught then integration of y to the power half plus 1 divided by half plus 1 okay okay so what will be y to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 okay so it will, if you bring this out so it will be reverse 2 by 3 okay understood now integration of y to the power half will be your if you integrate y to the power half it is not that this is nothing but y half plus 1 okay divided by half plus one okay so what will happen this y to the power three by two divided by three by two so this you can also write two by three as you bring out here two will go up okay multiplied by y to the power three by two okay y to the power three by two so that is why here k is constant it comes out so this is your constant term then we have integrated y to the power half so in place of y to the power half we can write 2 by 3 y to the power 3 by 2 and the limit is from 0 to y naught okay now what we have to do Now we have to substitute the limit. So k by y naught is a constant. Okay. Then 3 by 2, 2 by 3 is also constant now. Okay. Then we have to substitute the limit. Those things you have already studied in mathematics. Okay. So y naught. First we will substitute it will be y is equal to y naught. Okay. y naught to the power 3 by 2 minus then we are going to substitute in place of y the next limit that is 0 0 to the power 3 by 2 okay
So uh, similarly, am I audible? Yes, sir. Now you're audible. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, okay. Network yes, issue. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, Tashi. So here is already given rectangular channel. You can directly use the equation for rectangular channel. Okay, that we have already derived. Okay, or you have V. We substitute k root over y. So in place of root over y, we have written y to the power half. Okay, so dy will be there. So this equation is only for rectangular channel. Okay, so don't be confused. As we have already derived this equation, so we have directly used, okay, as the equation that is the channel is given rectangular, okay. Then, I uh, what you have to do? You have to integrate, okay. As k is a constant, it's already given in the equation that where k is a constant, so when we integrate, it will come up, okay. So k by y naught, then you integrate y to the power half. When you integrate y to the power half, when you integrate y to the power half, so it will be y to the power 1 by 2 plus 1, okay, divided by 1 by 2 plus 1. So half plus 1, it is 3 by 2. So you can write this thing, y to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 okay this is a simple integration okay so this thing you again you can write 2 by 3 if you take it out it will be revised 2 by 3 multiplied by y to the power 3 by 2 okay so here the steps are missing they have directly given 2 by 3 y to the power 3 by 2 okay then we have to substitute the limit okay then we have to substitute the limit. So V is equal to K by Y naught multiplied by 2 by 3. Then we have to first substitute the higher limit that is your Y naught. Okay. Y naught is your maximum limit. So we are always deducting from higher minus the lower one okay so in place of y we are going to substitute y naught okay so y naught to the power 3 by 2 okay minus 0 to the power 3 by 2 okay so this will gives you k divided by y naught multiplied by 2 by 3 multiplied by as this will be 0 to the power 3 by 2, it's 0. So what will be remaining? Y naught to the power 3 by 2. Okay. So again, if you simplify 2 by 3, k. Okay. K will be there. Then we have Y naught 3 by 2. As we have divided by Y naught, so it will be minus 1. Okay. I think the uh, this thing you know okay when you have y to the power 3 by 2 divided by y naught you can write y naught 3 by 2 minus 1 okay so it will be again 2 by 3 multiplied by k multiplied by 1 by 2 so half y naught to the power Understood? So your ultimate expression will yes, be 2 by 2 yes, y not to the power half. Okay. So here you see
So this is your final expression for your average velocity. Okay. Da by. Okay. So this is your general equation. Okay. So for again small v in place of small v, we need to substitute a root over y. That is given in the equation. Okay. In capital V, we need to substitute this equation that we have derived. Okay. And for del A, again for rectangular channel, it's B into Y. Okay. And area is, sorry, for del A, it's B into del Y. Okay. As it is a rectangular channel, it's B into del Y. And for area, B into Y naught. Okay. So try to solve. Okay. Alpha value, it's 1.35. So try to solve. If you have any problems, then we can discuss here. Okay. Okay. So you try to find out the value of alpha. Any doubts? So <clears throat> so similarly you find out beta also Thank you. 
doubts regarding this uh, i will uh, give you in the whatsapp group okay the same equation So all are requested to give their enrollment ID in the chat box, okay, for attendance. Okay, so uh, we will continue in the next class. Okay, you try to solve this uh, numerical where that velocity we have already calculated and values I have already given. Okay, you try once to solve at home. Okay, or if you have any doubts, then we will discuss in the next class. Okay, thank you. You have not given your enrollment ID in the chat box, okay? Kindly give your enrollment ID for attendance.